Welcome to this short module 17 in this series of lectures on statistical quality assurance and process improvement. We're going to speak briefly about so-called gauge capability ratios. Quite often in industrial contexts, gauge R&R &R studies are done to determine whether a gauge is in some sense adequate to check conformance to a particular set of engineering requirements, engineering tolerances, engineering specifications. Uh, suppose that a that some feature of a pro product needs to have some value x that is at least some number L and is no more than U in order to be functional. Uh, L would be the, called the lower specification and U the upper specification. Uh, and in this context, it's, it's common to want to compare the spread between L and U uh, to some measure of how much of that spread uh, uncertain measurement uncertainty uh, is taking up. Uh, the idea would be that if measurement uncertainty is sort of the same order of magnitude as that spread, then uh, trying to use a gauge, that gauge, to check conformance to those engineering tolerances or specifications uh, is a hopeless task. One quantitative way to try to make that comparison is to take uh, the R&R &R standard deviation and take some sensible multiple of it, perhaps six. Uh, six thinking that well most most of a normal distribution is within three standard deviations of its of its mean and so uh, plus or minus three standard deviations is a total spread of six standard deviations and to make a ratio then of six sigma r and r to the difference between the upper and the lower specification uh, that ratio is sometimes called a gauge capability ratio or a precision to tolerance ratio. Uh, the numerator uh, representing some kind of precision of measurement and the denominator representing some kind of uh, engineering tolerance or engineering uh, uh, allow allowance. Uh, of course, you can only estimate a gauge cap capability ratio. That is, this is a perfectly fine definition, uh, but it's it's knowable only in theory because one can't know exactly what sigma R and R is. Uh, the best one can do would be to estimate uh, a gauge capability ratio. So we'll put a hat over the GCR and say, well, if I have an estimate of sigma R and R, I could take six times that estimate and divide it by the difference in uh, engineering specifications. Uh, and that would give me an estimated gauge capability ratio. Further, notice that if I can make confidence limits for sigma R and R, using the material of the last uh, module, then I can take those confidence limits for sigma R and R and simply multiply them by 6 over the uh, difference in upper and lower specifications and have confidence limits for the gauge capability ratio. Uh, at the end of the day, one really wants gauge uh, capability ratios that are uh, say less than a tenth, preferably less than a hundredth. Uh, what that means is that the uncertainty of measurement is an order of magnitude or two orders of magnitude smaller uh, than, the, uh, than the allowable uh, spread in uh, product Value or product uh, feature that's that that's that's being that's being measured.